So over the course of two nights, we're going to have 20 candidates facing off in a crowded debate stage to try and make their case to a national audience for the first time. It's the biggest stage that most of these candidates have ever been on. For all the candidates, the most important thing coming out of their debate is that there is some piece of video that is memorable enough or interesting enough for it to be shared online. Everybody's trying to make a viral moment. It's just awfully good that someone with the temperament of Donald Trump is not in charge of the law in our country. Because you'd be in jail. Secretary Clinton. You have very little time to do it and you can't be obnoxious or overly hostile, so it's difficult. You know, the, the, the biggest comparison, honestly, is the 2016 Republican debate. And you saw President Trump, then candidate Trump, stand out, you know, in part by being outrageous. Look at those hands, are they small hands? and entertaining. He referred to my hands. If they're small, something else must be small. I guarantee you there's no problem. I guarantee. And offensive in some cases. I've given my answer, Lion Ted. I've given my answer. What? I don't think the Democrats are going to necessarily mimic that, but it's the same idea of doing something that allows them to stand out. In the first debate, Elizabeth Warren is going to be literally at center stage, sharing a stage with Senator Cory Booker, Senator Amy Klobuchar, Congressman Beto O'Rourke, and all of those candidates uh, are pretty nice. <laughs> you know, their, their brand of politics is not confrontational. She'll need a breakout moment against Joe Biden at, at some point, but that's not going to happen during, at least during this debate. I don't think for her it's make or break. I think for someone like Cory Booker, who will be standing next to her, if he can't break out here, or Amy Klobuchar, or Beto O'Rourke, and really make a mark, it's a little more dangerous for them. On the second night, Joe Biden, who's polling the highest right now, will be at the center of the stage, and he'll be joined by three other people who've been polling pretty well. Bernie Sanders, who will attack him on ideological grounds. South Bend Mayor Pete Buttigieg. Who just by standing there illustrates the generational divide of the Democratic Party. California Senator Kamala Harris. Gillibrand and Harris, two senators who could criticize him on his switch on the Hyde Amendment, on, on issues of abortion, on women's issues, or, or things of his sort of touchy personal nature that have created some controversy early in his campaign. The boundaries of protecting personal space have been reset, and I get it. I get it. What we don't know is whether those people will walk into the debate room with a goal of basically picking a fight with him. And one of the fine points of debate rules is if you name somebody else in your answer to a question, they get 30 seconds to respond. And if they attack you back, you get 30 seconds to respond. So there's sometimes an incentive for picking a fight with somebody else on stage. It's a moment for him to either sort of wither under that scrutiny and, and not fare that well uh, under it or, or allow these candidates to get under his skin or it's a moment for him to really showcase why he is the front runner in this race. I'm actually really curious about the two political amateurs who will be on the stage on Thursday. Andrew Yang, a businessman, who's basically running more or less a single issue campaign on a guaranteed government income for every American, $1,000 a month. But he's gotten some traction there, and if he can make a real claim on the debate stage, it's very possible that he rises in the polls. The other one is Marion Williamson, who's a spiritual advisor. She was a friend of Oprah's, who's been running on sort of a platform of love. It's sort of outside the regular conversation, but it's possible she gains traction as well. Really, what the candidates want is to be remembered. They need, they need some moment uh, to be remembered positively coming out of this that will drive fundraising, that will drive interest, that will drive their name ID, and that will get them all the way through to July.